There's a commercial on TV, I think it's for VesaCare, where there is a woman done in a cartoon character that has a big wind-up key in her back, and she's going along just fine, and then she winds down. <laughs> a lot of people feel that way. They feel all wound down in life. They start out, and they have full vigor and energy, perhaps in the morning, I hope in the morning, but maybe they wound down years ago, and they don't know how to get the spring in their step back. Well, maybe it is happening to you. It happened to me one time years ago in Nashville, Tennessee, when I worked there. I was so wound down, I was so tired, and uh, I couldn't revive myself as much as I tried. I'd sleep, gads, eight, ten hours at night, but I'd wake up the next day, and you know what I'm talking about, where you just feel a natural fatigue. I'm going to tell you in a minute how I revived myself. It was through a spiritual experience. Well, what are you being wound down by? Are the activities just too much? I saw a woman the other day at my granddaughter's elementary school, and she was taking the kids to soccer practice and doing all these things, and you could just see on her face that there was just nothing there anymore. The lights were on, but nobody was home. She was so soul-tired. Perhaps your emotions are the thing that are absolutely robbing you, where you just feel as if you cannot get up that same steam that you used to have. And perhaps it's conditions. It is with a lot of people that we pray with. Maybe the economy, maybe their job, maybe their relationship, and it is robbing them of their perceived strength and their power. They seem to be in a constant state of drain, like a bucket with a hole in it. No matter how much they're infilled, perhaps at night during sleep, it all seems to drain out, and it's draining out quicker than it can come in. My friend, the vitality of your soul never wavers. You might feel soul-tired, but it is just body-tired. It is mind-tired. And when you take time to reconnect again, you will be giving yourself a great gift. It will change not only your day, but it will start to fill you up again. It will plug your leaks. And that is an important thing. So often, I tell people, especially ministerial students, that want to give everything. It is their main objective in life to give. Usually, they give too much. They will burn out because, because they're giving out so much that they don't have anything left for them, and pretty soon they're depleted. I always tell them, and I'm telling you, to give from your overflow. Make sure you're full first and then overflowing onto others. It will make you a better soccer mom. It will make you a better employee, a better boss, a better husband, a better wife. It will be something that you will not know depletion anymore. And this is what happened to me in Nashville, Tennessee. There came a point that I simply had to close my eyes, there came a point that I realized I couldn't do it alone. And I went to God, and I asked God for an infilling. And I prayed for uh, well over an hour, not really out loud, sitting in meditation. And I had an infilling. Now, I'm not going to tell you it was to the overflow, but it started to plug the leaks, and I started to fill up, and I started to feel better. Your soul is a sacred home for the Spirit of God, and the essence of God permeates your soul. 
I want you to think of your soul as a sponge for a moment. Do you know what a dry sponge looks like? I wish I had brought one up from the kitchen, you know, that has not been in water for a while. And then you dip it in and it fills up and it regains its shape and it becomes heavy. It becomes saturated. Well, may you become saturated with spirit and the essence of God. And may it be to overflowing. And what does that mean to you when it overflows? Well, you're saturated, you're filled up with God's limitless power. When you take time out during your day, especially on those days where you feel you don't have the time, when you go to God in meditation, you'll have new heights of awareness, You'll have new heights of energy, and my friend, it will be higher than you ever thought possible. And not only that, but as you start to overflow to others, it will also reflect this to others. People will look at you in a new way. They'll be drawn to you. This is a great key to success in business. It's a great key if you're looking for employment. Don't go into a job interview depleted. Go in with the overflow and you just wait and see the difference on what happens. People will be drawn to you like a magnet. And it is that way in all of our friendships, our relationships. Your soul is the meeting place where you and God are one. And therefore, I pray for you today to have the overflow of limitless energy, power, vitality of God.